have you have a competitive spirit. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Well, but you gotta be, you gotta be careful about what you compete in. You know, it's a good thing I don't have a competitive spirit in chess or you know you know or football or anything like that. No, no, I just I'm 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 an observer there. I I enjoy watching things like that, but I I try to keep my competitive spirit in a game where I can win. Do you have a killer instinct? Nah, not exactly. I, I've got, I wouldn't call it a killer instinct, but I do, I do know this. When I want to do something, I always want to do it big. What does that I mean? put my whole net worth in city service preferred, you know. <laughs> $120. $114.75. Right. <laughs> and, and I put my whole net worth in, in and I've never, since I was, well, since that day, and, you know, March 11th, uh, 1942, I have never had less than 80% of my money in American business. You can call them stocks. Or but equities. I, but I see them as American business. I, I've owned a piece of American business for, for eight, at least 80% at all times. In, you know, I, I've just, I don't want to own anything else. I, I want to own a home and you know things my family wants and all that. But owning five homes doesn't mean anything to me because I'm I'm going to be happy in one home and and there's a certain amount of things that go wrong with everything. And I, if I got two homes, I've got, I know I've got more problems and I don't have more happiness. <laughs> what brings you the happiness? Oh, that I would have to be honestly say that that, that what makes me happiest is what I'm doing, what I'm doing, you know. I, 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 am, I enjoy two things about it. One, I know I'll win over time. That doesn't mean I'll beat everybody else or anything like that, but I'll, I, I, I'm in a game that's very, very, very easy if you have the right lessons in your mind about what you're buying. I'm not buying stocks. I'm buying pieces of overwhelmingly American business. Uh, and I'm happy when that's happy, when that's, uh, when I'm doing it. I'm happy when stocks are going down. I'm happier when stocks are going down because I, I, I can buy more of them with the same amount of money. I'd be happy if I was a farmer, I'd want farmland to go down uh, so I could buy more acreage, you know, if I was, I mean, it just makes sense. And I'll tell you the second thing I really like. I like being, I like being trusted by people. And, you know, I like, I would rather do what I do with partners than do it sitting in a room myself, even though I might make more money that way. You like the idea that people are trusting you with their savings. Yeah. They, they just say, look, I've saved money. I don't know what to do with it. And I trust uh, you. And they give it to me. And, and they don't, most of them give it to me. I mean, certainly in the original days, but even now to an unusual degree. Give it to me with the idea that never, and it's, it's for the lifetime. And then they, most of them, I mean, they've done this a long time ago, most of them give it away when they get through. They never quit saving. I mean, I, and of course, I'm sort of their savings machine. They, they save it and then give it to you. Yeah, and then they say, keep it and just keep building it. And they don't do it with the idea they're going to retire when they're 65 and then build great castles or anything like that. They, they just are basically, a few do. I mean, a few spend some money later on, but overwhelmingly, they, if they've been saving when they were 25 and saved a little money, gave it to me, uh, they're still saving. I, uh,